Hello friends. Welcome to the tutorial on using plot command interactively in IPython. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to create simple plots of mathematical functions, use the plot window to study plots better. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system, Python 3.4.3, and IPython 5.1.0. Prerequisites to practice this tutorial are You should know how to run basic Python commands on the IPython console. If not, for relevant Python tutorials, please visit this website. Let us first open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously. Now type IPython 3 and press enter. Let us initialize the PyLab package. Type percentage PyLab and press enter. Let us first understand what is PyLab. PyLab is a convenient Python module which provides plotting functionality and has mathematical and scientific functions. After running percentage PyLab in the IPython console, you will see a message using matplotlib backend. This means matplotlib is running. But sometimes you may get an error that says import error no module named matplotlib. In such cases, you have to install matplotlib and run this command again. Let us come back to the IPython console. Type linspace followed by a question mark in IPython console. Press enter. Please note that the command is linspace and not line space. The displayed information says that linspace return evenly spaced numbers which are calculated over the interval start and stop. Press Q to exit the documentation and return to the console. Let's try to generate 100 points from 1 to 100. Type linspace brackets 1 comma, hundred comma, hundred. Here, one is the start, hundred is the stop, and the next hundred is the number of points. Now press enter. As you can see, a sequence of numbers from one to hundred is displayed. Now let's try to generate two hundred points between zero and one. We do that by typing linspace brackets 0, 1, 200 and press enter. Here is the expected sequence of numbers. In linspace, the start and stop points can be integers, decimals or constants. Let us now learn about the len function. First, we will generate 100 points between minus pi and pi. So type linspace brackets minus pi comma pi comma 100 and press enter. Here, pi is a constant defined by pi lab. Now let us save this to a variable say t. Press enter. If we now type len bracket t and press enter, we will get the number of points between minus pi and pi. Len function gives the number of elements present in a given sequence. Next, let's try and plot a cosine curve between minus pi and pi. For this, we use the plot command. Type plot brackets t comma cos t and press enter.
as you can see from the cosine plot cos t get the cosine value at every point corresponding to t we can also assign the value of cos t to a variable cosine by typing cosine is equal to cos t press enter and then plot by typing plot t comma cosine and press enter to clear the plot we have to use the clf function this avoids overlapping of new plots over older plots in the console type clf and press enter the previous plot is cleared and a blank plot window is displayed now let's try to plot a sine plot type plot brackets t comma sin t and press enter a sine plot is displayed to study the plot better on the plot window we can use various options that are available on it let us have a look at these options moving the mouse pointer along the plot gives us the location of each point on the plot notice here at the bottom left of the window there are few buttons the rightmost among them is for saving the file just click on it and type the file name let us save the plot by the name sin underscore curve in pdf format click on the drop down here as you can see there are many formats in which to save the file formats like png eps pdf and ps are available we have to specify the format that we prefer at the time of saving to the left of the save button is the slider button using this button we can specify the margins of the plot window to the left of the slider button is the zoom button it is used to zoom into the plot just specify the region to zoom into the button to the left of zoom can be used to move the axis of the plot the next two buttons with left and right arrow icons change the state of the plot it takes us to the previous or next state of the plot it acts like the back and forward button in a browser the last one is home referring to the initial plot pause the video here try out the following exercise and then resume the video plot sin x multiplied by sin x divided by x save the plot as sin square by x dot pdf zoom and find the maxima bring it back to initial position this brings us to the end of this tutorial in this tutorial we have learned to start ipython with pylab use the linspace function to create equally spaced points in a region find the length of sequences using len function plot mathematical functions using plot clear drawing area using clf usage of buttons in the ui of the plot window such as save zoom move axis back and forward home here are some self assessment questions for you to solve create 100 equally spaced points between Minus pi by two and pi by two. How can we find the length of a sequence? What will the command lin space minus pi comma pi comma hundred do? And the answers are: We use the command lin space minus pi by two comma pi by two comma hundred to create hundred equally spaced lines between. points minus pi by 2 and pi by 2 len sequence underscore name is the function used to find out the length of a sequence the command len space minus pi comma pi comma 100 will return 
100 evenly spaced samples from minus pi to pi, including both minus pi and pi. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. We conduct workshops using Spoken Tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. Do you have questions on this Spoken Tutorial? Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Someone from the FOSSI team will answer them. Please visit this website. Do you have any general or technical questions? Please visit the forum given in this link. The FOSSI team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We have on RIEM and certificates for those who do this. For more details, please visit this site. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NMEICT, MHRD, Government of India. This is Usha from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.